The Irongo leadership met the Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare Minister in Swakopmund to discuss where to roll out food banks. To be honest, not much is really happening within our town in terms of economic activities and so on. And that already tells us that our town has a high number of unemployed people. We have also informed the Ministry of Poverty that there is a land available in Karibep for a food bank. So meaning that we were already in advance to promote the well-being of the people and to have such project in Karibep. I think it to be brought closer to Karibep or either Omaruru or Yusakos, it can also bring a lesson in food production. Those are the worst stricken areas attached to the worst people that have lost it all, meaning they have lost it in terms of the drought. We had a few stillborn babies that come from the DRC. Now the argument is we should not have anyone going to bed hungry or dying of hunger. But then you have a, a, a pregnant mother and she's producing a stillborn baby due to malnutrition. According to statistics provided by the chief regional officer, Daura's constituency has the highest poverty headcount at negative 18.2%, Karibabi second with negative 15% and Omaruru third at 2.1%. The Poverty Eradication Minister, however, reminded councillors that rural areas do not qualify for food banks as they are covered by other social safety programs. Zefania mm -hmm. Kameda stressed that towns having the biggest number of people who are completely destitute are suitable candidates, but the food bank should not be the only poverty eradicator. On that basis, Karapep and Swakopmund were therefore chosen as the suitable places to establish food banks.